Uh, I make sculpture and installation art. So installation art sort of moves beyond um, a single object or uh, like a photo or a painting and it's work that you can immerse yourself in, become part of an environment that's made by the artist. So in my work often you can not just see things but you can touch and smell and sometimes hear so you're engaging a lot more senses. Um, yeah so uh, in my practice I've combined a lot of different things so I can do soft sculpture, uh, animatronics, um, so moving parts in my soft sculptures and um, casting, so bronze and resin and I do assemblage, so piecing together found objects um, and mix that all together to make my installation pieces. I think for a number of reasons, so I, on one hand I can get bored just doing one thing and I think often I have ideas that are so huge that they need to comprise different ways of working. So I love the physical part of making in different ways but also what that can do conceptually. Um, and I also feel like it's important to engage people on more than one level. Um, especially with topics that I'm dealing with which I find really important. I think it's important to strike people at the core and the, you know, to be able to do that um, by hitting them emotionally through different senses I think can be really powerful. I use like old, for example, old Ikea skin rug. It was once a cow in Brazil that became a rug uh, in an Ikea store in Sydney and then someone bought used for three years and then I turned it back into a cow. Um, you know and I also will use electronic components so make motors that um, make things move or appear to make these animal forms breathe or electronics to make them have body warmth. But I yeah I often work with odd materials uh, because I think um, for me as a sculptor installation artist it's that materiality that tells the story and how we combine those different um, materials um, to say something important or specific so yeah so i was just at the senior school and we did some workshops on mold making and resin casting so that you're know, asking them to think about the role of stewardship of the environment, which is part of, um, you know, the MacKillop Code. Uh, and then over this side, we're going to be making a big feather object. So that that um, we'll be working with Year Nines and Eights. And yeah, so it'll be a um, a process of making an armature and working with silicon and feathers to create texture and form and some electronics as well. Keep going for it and believe in yourself and uh, try and find networks of people who are also interested in art. Um, it can, I know from experience when you're younger it can be discouraging because it can seem to most people that it's such a hobby and a kind of um, selfish pursuit but keep making, keep being informed about the world around you because that's your inspiration and your position in the world is what will ultimately um, inform what you make. And just try and do a little bit each day when you can. Make it part of your life rather than an additional part of your life. Um, yeah, and remember that it's important. Yeah.